Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 16th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, giving you an update on space weather, world weather, earthquakes, and volcanoes. Starting out here at a pretty quiet sun the last 48 hours, although we are being hammered by coronal hole wind stream. Looking at the last 48 hours, one pretty active sunspot there releasing B-class, C-class range flares today. As well, a little bit of activity is cresting in. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, a lot of filaments hovering above the disk and two cresting sunspots, which have been pretty active as of late. And we've got some coronal holes to talk about yet again. As our solar wind speeds are over 600 kilometers per second now, looking at outgoing imagery here of those small B-class, C-class flares coming out of those bright regions. Another closer look here at the cresting region, which I'm kind of worried about. A lot of activity firing off already from the northern sunspot. Looking at multi-spectrum here. Pointing out the two coronal holes and as well looking at the bright fiery regions that are outgoing and cresting around the sun. This one here, you can really see the coronal holes, those black spots, they do produce very high strong winds, solar winds towards our planet. Normally we're at about 300 kilometers per second. Right now we're over 600. Looking at the ISPA spiral, only showing one CME Yet again, shot away on the backside of the sun towards Mercury. But that big pink blob is about to affect Earth and, well, is affecting Earth right now. Looking at our geospace magnetosphere cut planes for windstream, we're at a KP level 4, if not 5. As just recently, the solar winds are packing over 600 kilometers per second. I think it topped out. 646. Have a quick look at our pressure diagrams for today. I take this moment to say hello to everyone and thank you for tuning in today. Don't forget to smack that like button if you're enjoying these updates. Keeping humanity aware and prepared. Daily events worldwide. Real-time solar wind. You can see we popped up to about 646. And our solar winds right now are 608 kilometers per second. And we've been expecting this for the last couple days, as I did forecast two days ago. Solar X-ray flux, as I said, is in B-class range. Geomagnetic activity is dropping now. We're down to 2, KP index of 2. But yeah, B-class range flares. Aurora forecast for tonight could see some in northern Alberta, Manitoba, Saskatchewan. But there's going to be a big one through going through Alaska and as well Russia overnight. That is the Aurora forecast for tonight, November 16th. As we are being hammered by over 600 km per second solar winds brought to you by the Coronal Hole Windstream. Looking at Lasco 2 and 3, just showing a little bit of the backside CME in the bottom right-hand side of these images, Lasco 2 and 3. Right there, nothing major to report. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 7. No major spikes to talk about. Power of 1010 quality. And amplitude of 7. I'm going to start out here with an update for La Palma. They saw 4.3 there today, but they're seeing a lot of increased activity, minor earthquakes south of this large eruption at La Palma volcano. And the frequencies are seem they seem to be increasing over the past 24 hours. Things have picked up compared to the last few days for sure. Let's have a quick look around the world for earthquakes, starting out with the largest that was reported today, 
5.3 here towards the Indian Plate. South Indian Ocean, 5.3 at a 10 kilometer depth. As well, reporting a 4.4 here at Sanu, Indonesia, 211 kilometer depth. Laos seeing a couple earthquakes today. Thailand, 4.8 and as well a 4.6. Philippines seeing a 4.6, a Panda Kutan, as well a 4.3 here in Gorontolo, Indonesia, 143 kilometer depth, 4.2 Timor Leste. Deepest earthquake to report today is this 560 kilometer depth, 4.4 south of the Fiji Islands, so we can expect a larger shallower earthquake to follow. And we, I'm going to be keeping an eye on Hawaii here. Saw a couple sizable earthquakes, 3.8. And a 3.3 there today. And as well, some more activity in the summit crater. Looking at a dome that has formed here in the bottom part of the lake. And as well, spewing just beside the dome. This lake has been filling up now for a few months. We'll carry on here with earthquakes around the world. Japan, Honshu, Japan, seeing a 4.4 at a 10 kilometer depth, as well a 4.3 here to report Kuril Islands. Mostly minor activity through Alaska, largest being a 3.5 there. United States seems pretty quiet. No major swarms to talk about, but Midland, Texas did see a 3.5. That's pretty sizable for the region. And as well, Tom's Place here with a 3.3. That's right towards Mono Lake. Looking through Central America here, 4.8 reported in Nicaragua. Giclillo. And as well, a 4.2 El Salvador, 35 kilometer depth. And as well, a 4.3 here reported south of Panama at a 10 kilometer depth. And we've seen some activity come back to Puerto Rico here today, 3.4. 3.5 largest in the region. That seems to be a regular across this planet right now. Chile, 4.1. 5.0 here to report South Sandwich Islands and as well a 4.6. So continuing earthquakes through the Scotia Plate into the South Sandwich Islands. And a rare earthquake here, a 3.1 to report in the United Kingdom. A Loch Gilpied, United Kingdom. And as well, the aftershocks continue through Iran. Let's have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Large earthquake and swarm continuing in Iran. And as well, activity moving through the Somalia plate into the Antarctic plate. Lots of activity through the Atlantic Ocean as well into self Sandwich. And in my mind, still way too quiet here across the United States, up into Canada. So heads up. Have a plan, everybody. Let's have a quick look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Media Earth and daily events worldwide. We're going to start out here in home base, Brantford, Ontario, where tomorrow we'll see temperatures jump up. And then the day after, hop back down. And that's ahead and behind this low-pressure system that's heading straight into Quebec, and then up into Greenland. Long line of moisture here, atmospheric river, stretching pretty much from Orlando, Florida, up into Greenland. This is insane, guys. I've seen a lot of changes drastically happening on these apps and in the forecast the last little bit. We're going to see some big ones here coming up. So watch for that winter storm to slowly move eastward. In, into Quebec and towards Greenland. But then watch very cold high pressure ridge move in here from Alaska, bringing down minus double digits, if not minus 36 in some areas. So the deep freeze is on starting west and starting Sunday, Alberta will be minus double digits. Big systems here developing through the Pacific still. Another atmospheric river heading towards the coastline of British Columbia. 
Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody there. Many highways are blocked. People are trapped. People have to evacuate their homes. Devastating situation there. Prayers for BC. Overlooking the Atlantic. Pretty big system here that seems to be squeezed and shot back down into the Atlantic. Europe. Watch for above seasonal through Central Europe. Low pressure system here heading through the Mediterranean. We'll be heading into Egypt in the long range. Other than that, it's going to be mild and dry across Western Europe. Eastern Europe, you've got quite a big system moving through there. Through Slovakia this week. Big winter storm. And as well, cold temperatures still funneling down from Russia. Almost minus 40 in some parts of Siberia right now. And those high-pressure ridges are locking in and eyeing in and swinging around our planet. Overlooking Southeast Asia and India, still watching those two low-pressure systems spin around India this week. Daily evaporation rains through Indonesia and the Philippines. Other than that, nothing major to report there. And then we get to Australia where we have another low-pressure system sneaking up on you. Saturday into Sunday, watch for parts of southeastern Australia to get some extreme weather as this large low develops and is going to head straight for New Zealand in the long range. Overlooking the Pacific, just show you here the long lines of atmospheric rivers that are forming in both oceans right now, stretching from the equator to the North Pole. And this is something that I've been talking about for years and warning people that it will happen. It's kind of blowing my mind that some of this stuff is happening that I've been talking about for four years here on YouTube. Five years coming up in March. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains, storms moving away from Argentina and back into Panama. Africa, no major weather to talk about there. No systems affecting you. And no major drastic changes in temperature. And I'm going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Pointing out the major systems spinning in our hemispheres right now. And again, thoughts and prayers going out to everybody through BC. There are a number of highways blocked off. And a lot of imports, exports are going to be halted. Train lines, truckers. This is going to be a big situation for Canada. So thoughts and prayers. And again, thank you for watching today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider leaving a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section where you're watching from. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye now. Prayers for humanity. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.